Hello, I just got my visa. So I booked one night. Technically I have one more night here, which is cool. I don't need to rush and leave tomorrow. That'll give me time to do some stuff, edit, and check out tickets and stuff. But yeah, I got it. So it took like an extra day longer than it said. But yeah, I'm excited. I actually run that back. I feel like that was three days. I probably was just being impatient because I had planned to leave today. I got the visa today. It's just a little later in the afternoon. And I didn't want to risk taking a flight without having the visa like in my email. But yeah, all right. My point is fill it out early, earlier than you need it just to have it. Hey y'all, I am booking my flight and I am essentially trying to create my own layover based off the cheap flight dates I'm seeing and where all the airports seem to be connecting for cheap flights. Unfortunately, my Wi-Fi has been rough the entire trip. Hey y'all, I'm about to book my ticket for Vietnam and I'm looking for luggage storage at the Bangkok airport because I think the price of storing luggage will be cheaper than paying for a bag to haul my stuff to Vietnam because I don't need all my stuff. Good morning, y'all. I woke up thinking about stability. I'm happy to have a big mattress right now. Oh my gosh. But yeah, I'm moving around a lot, so I don't know if I need to spend some more time in one location. It's just chill. But yeah, and I'm thinking about summer too and all that. I met a girl who sold her house to travel. Yeah, so I'm not the only one. But yeah, I was just thinking about that. I'm about to go make breakfast and book my ticket to Vietnam and my ticket back to Europe. So, see. I think I might end up staying in Thailand longer, y'all. I'm trying to figure stuff out. So I have stuff to handle with my taxes and my dental. But like, I'm really not trying to leave. I started looking at flights back and stuff like that. I'm just not ready to book it. So I'm probably gonna take today and edit. Cause I'm trying to get that passive income back, baby. Take today, edit all that good stuff. And then probably shower, take a walk to Chinatown, check it out. And then I'll leave for Vietnam tomorrow. And I'm seeing if my friend is able to hold my bag for me. And then I might just come back to Thailand again. <laughs> Y'all, I just went downstairs and had breakfast and I was talking to the guy who works here. He's so cool. Oh my gosh. He was like, he was like, you're so positive. Are you a Leo? I was like, yes. <laughs> he was like, I dated like some Leos that reminded me of you. I was like, he's so cool. Oh my gosh. But yeah, I'm probably gonna um, edit and then shower and walk to Chinatown just to check it out. I don't want to leave Thailand. It's not sitting well with my spirit. I just don't want to leave this part of Asia right now. The girl's having too good of a time. But yeah, I need to get my passive income popping. Because baby, honestly, if I had it, I would just chill. I would just, there's no rush. I'm only rushing back to work. And even the hostels in like Europe are starting to hit like 30 euros. Anyways, I'll talk to y'all later. I'm gonna edit today. This place is cool, but like, the... actually, I'll, I'll tell y'all in a second. No, because of course the cut, cut. Of course, the one day I choose to stay inside and edit is the day that they're doing construction outside. I can't even hear. I, I can't. I can't even hear myself. Thank you. 
So, might be going to Chinatown soon. I almost thought to just make it a whole work thing, but I can't work like this. No, because imagine having this cute little desk and this cute little plan to do your work and construction bullied you out of it. <laughs> We're about to go to Chinatown, y'all. I'll see you there. I just want to say thank you. I appreciate y'all for bearing with me and all my technical difficulties. Sometimes I'll be struggling with the sound or whether I should add music. Some of the vlogs, I haven't been adding music while I talk because I know I talk softer sometimes for the sake of my environment and not trying to be super loud vlogging. Whatever it might be, I just want to say thank y'all for being here. Thank you for vibing with me. I really appreciate it. I'm having so much fun traveling and just really confronting a lot of things. What I want out of life, how I'm feeling, the standard I want to hold my life at. All that good stuff. And I hope y'all do the same. Bye.